Nice costume. So, Mom finally hung up the old circus tights, huh, Bradley? How the clowns must have cried. <laughs> For your information, this happens to be the original Wonder Woman costume worn by television goddess Linda Carter. <laughs> I bought it cheap at the Rose Bowl swap meet over the weekend. What makes you think it's authentic? Ah, the costume designer's name is sewn into the crotch. Here, look, look. Don't show me the crotch. Show me. You know, I hate to break it to you, Bradley, but there's no way that costume's the real deal. You see, Wonder Woman didn't wear a skirt. She wore hot pants. Short, tight, blue hot pants with white stars that descended from her hips into a V pattern. Fan of the show, were you? Parts of it. Yeah, but see, this was the original prototype costume. And actually, when ABC executives took a look at Linda Carter in it, they made a very difficult artistic decision. You now, less wonder and, and more woman. <laughs> but see, this is one of a kind. That's why I'm offering it for sale in uh, Variety. Look, right next to my regular weekly ad. Wanted, dream guest house, can pay no rent. <laughs> Will not read poetry or provide sex? Yeah, well, if you went through what I went through with Maya Angelou, you'd be singing the same song too, sister. <laughs> big on Monday night football? Try our Monday minis where the story unfolds every Monday night. Next time, Courtney's got it bad. Everything is over for me now. And Hugh's up to no good. Stop right there! In the conclusion of Judith Prance's Till We Meet Again. Tonight at 8 Eastern on We Women's Entertainment. On our diva's next mission, Shauna cozies up to her target. Enjoy stakes out of sun shady activities. I think he's getting his money from drugs. Real women, real cases. Diva Detectives. Wednesday at 8.30 Eastern on Wii. Lie, cheat, steal, get caught. That's my little brother Patrick. He's very annoying. Fortunately, he's sick today. Nothing starts working faster on fever than children's Tylenol. No wonder it's still the pediatrician's number one choice. <laughs> Sorry, honey. I had to give it to him. Children's Tylenol for fast fever relief. And now there's new Berry Berry Strawberry flavor. Getting better never tasted so good. Flexibility. It's what makes Remington's new Smooth and Silky Ultra our best shaver ever. Its exclusive UltraFlex shaving system hugs every curve for our closest, most comfortable shave. Remington, America's number one brand. Never miss an opportunity to make someone smile. Kahlua. Unleash it. Do you dream in chocolate? Then discover the Lindor Truffle. Crafted with passion and perfection by Lindt's master chocolatiers. When you break its shell, Lindor's lusciously smooth center starts to melt. And so will you. 150 years of our passion, all for that one moment of yours. Lindt. Keeping a clean house isn't always easy. Especially when you've got a kicker. So I got the new Bissell Spot Lifter Power Brush. It's small, but powerful. Its dual brushes and strong suction work so much better than a rag and spray cleaner. Bissell, we mean clean. A clean house is a comfortable house, I say. Remember, Spot Lifter is a great way to tidy up your holiday gift list. After the kids, I felt like something changed. My job took everything out of me, but I wanted to feel more intimacy with my husband. I just wanted to feel more like myself again. Now, for the nearly 40 million women who suffer some form of sexual dissatisfaction, there's Fomore, a topical cream that's proven to increase the intensity of intimate moments. And it's available without a prescription. So whatever the reason, now there's Fomore. Feel more with Fomore. Now at these locations.
10's morning show, Wake Up L.A., wants a gossip reporter for their Monday telecast, and they want somebody from the Inquisitor. Well, there's absolutely no way I'm going on TV, so you can count me out. I already did. <laughs> I submitted Nora for the assignment. Me? I remember your resume listed a broadcast stint a few years back. Well, if that's what you're interested in, why don't you let my extensive on-camera experience speak for itself? <clears throat> My real. Bradley, hours of waving wildly behind Al Roker at Rockefeller Center doesn't count as on-camera experience. Four and one-half hours of torture, Dave. Four and one-half hours in a putrid waiting room of the putrid HMO you switched all employees to last month. Hey, I'm saving us a bundle with that medical plan. So what if it doesn't have a fancy Beverly Hills address? It's in the back of a pizza hut. <laughs> The sign in the bathroom says all doctors must wash hands before examining patients. Well, they should. You're sacrificing the health of the entire staff for a few measly dollars. You'd probably do anything for money. Why, well, I bet you'd eat that pat of butter for five dollars. You're dreaming. All right. Ten. There's no way I'm doing that for less than 20. How about a hundred? Deal. For an entire stick of butter. One quarter pound. Cold. You're on. Anyway, Camilla, I think maybe my uh, on-camera experience just isn't as uh, extensive as I may have led you to believe. So the Weather Girl stuff was just padding for your resume. Right. All right, look, I did not lie about that TV gig, okay? I was the Channel 10 weather girl. I just wasn't the weather girl for so long. How long? One day. <laughs> look, I was incredibly nervous that morning, and, and I threw up. <laughs> the anchorman said, over to you, Nora. I managed just three words. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Okay, four words, if you're counting the blue. Hey, Jake. Yeah? When was the last time you got sick to your stomach? Please, I used to volunteer at the free clinic. Nothing makes me sick. Oh, good. You're doing the gossip spot. But, Camilla, I told you oh, I didn't... and listen, uh, would you smell this cottage cheese for me? I think I left it out overnight. <laughs> you, Nora. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Over to you, Suji. Thank you, Jake. <laughs> That's great. Where'd you get that? Your mother. She found me charming. Absolutely, positively has to get there overnight charming. <laughs> you know, your first bubble bath was on here, too. <laughs> okay, so, so you had a little case of stage fright eight years ago. So what? You know, maybe it's time you tried to overcome your fears by... Hey. How about trying to do that gossip spot on Wake Up L.A.? Nice try, Jake. But it was a little more than just a little case of stage fright. You know, I, I remember standing there, waiting for that red light to come on and thinking, what would happen if I lost it, you know, and just started singing? Or <laughs> taking my clothes off? <laughs> or singing and taking my clothes off? <laughs> or what if I just started making out with the camera, you know? Just like walked in real close and just licked the lens. <laughs> just to see those people standing there thinking, who is this naked singing lens licking freak of nature? And why can't she just stand there and do the weather? And that's, well, that's when I realized that I don't have the self-assurance it takes to do that. When the pressure got too intense, Jake, I, I cracked. You mean yacked? <laughs> there you go, Dave. One cold stick of butter for one crisp $100 bill. I feel a little guilty stealing from you like this, Harris. My people come from the Midwest. We put butter on everything. Even I can't believe it's not butter. I'll be sure to keep that in mind while you gorge yourself on four waxy ounces of saturated fat. Saturated, huh? Is that the bad kind? The last man that I had this wager with had a massive heart attack two hours later. 
When the coroner opened him up, he squirted like a chicken Kiev. This is unsalted, right? Why, Dave, you seem to be having second thoughts. How about we double the money? 200? But for one pound of greasy animal suet, not melted, not whipped, in stick form only. That's four sticks of butter. Okay. But make it Quality Farms. That's my brand. <laughs> uh, I've been running this ad for over a week and I haven't even gotten a nibble. Well, now see, here's your problem. You've got a picture of just the Wonder Woman costume. You need to put a beautiful body in it. Yeah, yeah I thought about that, but the underwire and the bra kept getting snagged in my chest hair. <laughs> You know, if I were you, Bradley, I'd get the Inquisitor's very own Wonder Woman to pose for that picture. Forget it. You can't afford me. Actually, I was thinking of Nora. What? Oh, would you, Nora? Would you be my Wonder Woman? Oh, sure, Bradley. I'd love to pose in a skimpy, glorified bustier just to fulfill one of Jake's secret pig dog fantasies. They are not secret. I'll give you 10% of my gross profit. I paid 200 bucks for this. I'm not getting into that thing for a measly 20 bucks. 20, huh? <laughs> Nora, I'm looking to get 50,000 for this. Bradley, you really expect someone to pay $50,000 for a flashy leotard and a piece of rope? Do you know that in 1979, Gene Siskel paid $2,000 for John Travolta's Saturday Night Fever suit? And then in 1995, he resold it for almost $150,000. Whoa. Uh-huh. You know, I don't know, Bradley. Maybe you're asking too much of Nora. I mean, Linda Carter wore that. And those are some pretty big shoes to fill. <laughs> Load your camera. She actually gonna put that thing on? She rose to the challenge. Shoot. The senior center just closed and I have to pick up grandma. Oh, what the hell. She can wait in the alley. I think she's got a sweater. Hey, Suji, why not take Nora's sweater just in case? What are you talking about? Well, when she comes out with the costume on, you go into the ladies' room and take her sweater and the rest of her street clothes. And then when she goes back in the change, you know, we split. <laughs> It's a play. It's Wonder Stick. <laughs> Come on, Bradley, let's do this. Okay. Now listen, if you're not too busy fighting crime later, maybe we can hook up. I was in the Boy Scouts, you know. I'm pretty handy with a rope. <laughs> it's not a rope, okay? It's a magic lasso, and it's not used for evil. It's only used for good. Come on, Bradley, are we done? If you wrap it around a bad guy's stomach, it makes him tell the truth. <laughs> How about if you wrap it around his neck? Okay, I think we're done. <laughs> So we cool? Uh, sweater, pants, t-shirt. I left her socks rolled up in a little ball as if to mock her. <laughs> oh, okay. That, that was a funny. Guys, come on now with the clothes. He... Friendship rule number one. I'm only doing this for you. You know, Bert, I'm buying like a tenth of that. Two guys and a girl, coming up next on We Women's Entertainment. Tonight, size counts, and our Monday mini fits perfectly. Try on the conclusion of Judith Kranz's Till We Meet Again with Courtney Cox. And Christopher Reeve finds true love somewhere in time. Then, candlelight is romantic, but is Felicity in the dark? Put real butter on your popcorn. We Women's Entertainment. Go on, indulge. Next time on Single in L.A. Catalina offers some advice to the ladies. Golden rule. Don't ever go out with a rock star, just be their friend. I got you fucked up. And Suzanne offers some advice to the guys. Don't dial us when you're drunk. No drunk dialing. Yeah.
Real women, real life, real singles. Single in LA, Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern on We Women's Entertainment. Time spent on your own is never wasted. Kalua, unleash it. This Christmas, the women of Napley, England, are raising money for charity by becoming the most unlikely calendar girls in the world. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Inspired by the true story, Calendar Girls gets two thumbs up. It's hilarious, a triumph, one of the most inspiring, entertaining, and best films of the year. And now Helen Mirren's a Golden Globe nominee for Best Actress. We're going to need bigger buns. Calendar Girls, rated PG-13. Now in select cities, everywhere New Year's Day. When is cereal more than just breakfast? When it's grape nuts or shredded wheat. They have a healthy whole grain crunch that may help reduce your risk of heart disease. So start your day the heart smart way. Two healthy classics from Post. They're anything but ordinary. There are nearly 7 million people with psoriasis, but sometimes I feel like I'm the only one. Luckily, I discovered psoriasis connections. Now I know I'm not the only one who wears long sleeves in August. I'm not the only one who craves information. Psoriasis Connections is a free magazine and web program that connects you to a whole world of psoriasis experts, information, and other people who know exactly what you're going through. They answered my question about whether I could pass this on to my kids. I like the lady who found relief sunbathing at a Dead Sea spa. Or that dad who taught his son some great comebacks for when he gets teased about his skin. Psoriasis Connections is free and it's sponsored by Amgen and Wyeth. To sign up, visit our website or call 1-800-353-8138. 1-800-353-8138. With psoriasis, like anything else, it's good to have connections. Psoriasis Connections. Dad, this is dumb. It's go time. Oh, boy. Here's one way to get computer help. Target in sight. Can I help you? Not a word of this to your mother. Hang on. Here we go. What do you want from me? I want you to make this go away. Please. Don't go there. Go Dell. Hey, there's a reason people gave Dell an A-plus for service and reliability. First, Dell makes rock-solid PCs you can count on. Then, they stand behind them 24-7. Right now, get a huge flat panel display and an Intel Pentium 4 processor with this Dimension desktop. It's just $6.99 after mail-in rebate. Plus, you'll get free shipping and a free CD burner. A PC you can rely on. Thank you! Easy as Dell. Dell PCs use Intel Pentium 4 processors. Anybody see a big evil looking guy just as a gopher come through here? <laughs> Dave Fontaine's buddy from yoga class. Frankie. Yeah, Dave set us up once, remember? I took you to see Fiddler on the Roof with David Burney. We had a fantastic time. Right, <laughs> you and me and your mom. <laughs> she died, you know. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. This morning. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I tried to call you about a hundred times, but you never called back. Oh, well, well Frankie. Hey, don't worry. I understand why you haven't called. I mean... You've been busy. <laughs> uh, Frankie, I really have. And, and We should go out again. 
Yeah, I've been unemployed for the past year and a half, and now that Mom's gone, my schedule's pretty open. When's good for you? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, t today is, is Wednesday, and, uh, well, the weekend is, is really crazy. <laughs> um, I think maybe we could... Uh, tell you what, Frankie. I'm not gonna lie to you. Normally, that's what I do, but I'm not doing either one of us any favors that way. It's not fair or decent. Heck, it's not the American way. <laughs> so I'm gonna be honest with you, Frankie. I don't think that we should go out with each other ever again. Wow. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah. It hurt. Oh. It hurt pretty bad. <laughs> Thank you for being so truthful and straightforward with me. Listen, that's my taxi. You take care of yourself, Frankie, all right? Yes. Yes, I will. Hi, I need to... Oh, sir, did you know that your cab license is expired? Ever notice how you never see Nora and Wonder Woman together at the same time? <laughs> morning, Jakey, Suji. Hey, good morning. Morning. So, did you have fun after work yesterday? No. I'm not sure fun is the word I would use. It was pretty busy out there on the streets, you know, crime-wise. <laughs> okay, Nora, Nora, it was a joke. Crime is no joke, Jake. Although our justice system may oftentimes seem a comedy of errors, it's up to responsible citizens like us to have the last laugh. <laughs> Camilla. Yeah, come in. Listen, I've been feeling more confident lately, and I was thinking I'd like to do that TV gossip spot. Now, I know you're probably reluctant, given my past. No, I'll call the station this afternoon and let them know. Excellent. Hey, Nora. Yeah? The morning of the broadcast, why don't you skip breakfast? <laughs> No can do, Camilla. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. <laughs> 200 bucks for doing something I'd probably do for free. <laughs> for the sheer enjoyment of it. For the simple pleasure of... Come here. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> My hands were wet. Why? Hey, Nora. I can't find my Wonder Woman costume. What did you do with it? Well, I don't have it. Um, because I, you know, I had to, I took it into the uh, dry cleaners. Oh, you spilled on it? Ugh. Did you stain the eagle emblem on the 
Bristol area? <laughs> no, Bradley, I didn't stain the eagle oh. emblem on the Bristol. <laughs> Tell you what, Bradley, I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm gonna take that costume off your hands. <laughs> what do you say? I give you $500 for it, huh? What are you talking about? Why would I take $500 for it? Nora, what's that bulge on your hip? Nothing. That's the magic lasso, isn't it? No, it's a boil. I'm having it looked at. Oh, my God. You're wearing the Wonder Woman costume underneath your clothes. What are you, oh my God. What are you insane? You cheap, Jake. What? Nora's wearing the Wonder Woman costume I, under her clothes. I am not. Tara, okay. she's wearing the Wonder Woman costume under I her clothes. I am not wearing the Wonder Woman oh, oh, costume. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm wearing it. Maybe I like the way it makes me feel, all right? Maybe it helps me. Helps me to be more assertive, feel more confident. You left out fresh and feminine. <laughs> Laura, why the hell are you wearing that ridiculous costume? Okay, look. These guys stole my clothes, and, and I ended up wearing this on the street last night. And, well... After I got over my initial embarrassment, I began to feel this weird sense of power. No, no, I know it sounds crazy. No, no, that doesn't sound crazy at all. Wow! <laughs> no, no, wait, now listen, wait a minute, it's not so crazy. You know what I do whenever I have an important meeting with the publisher to give myself an extra little boost of confidence? Drink the blood of an infant? <laughs> Hold on, my lucky pair of Lavender La Perla dance pants, inside out. And presto, instant pluck and power. You're, you're telling me a pair of inside out purple panties gives you confidence? Well, darling, it makes a lot more sense than what you're wearing. <laughs> oh, please. You've got no eagle emblem on your chest, Whoa. no gold bracelets, and there's no way you have a magic lasso made of real gold links from the girdle of Hippolyta, queen of the Amazons of Paradise Island. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna go and take this off. Now, the idea that a costume would superpower, that is, uh, yeah. <laughs> Why, Dave, you're looking much better today. And I'm not just trying to butter you up. <laughs> Joke all you want, but I still won. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be in the break room wringing my underwear out over a 10-pound bag of popcorn. <laughs> oh, Mr. Wagner, I, I, I can't tell you what a thrill it is for uh, me yeah, to be standing yeah, here yeah. with you. Let's, uh, let's see the suit. Oh, <laughs> certainly. Um, <clears throat> really, it's a steal for 1500 I mean, as you can see, it's... Uh, it's an original prototype. Yes, yes it is. In fact, the costume designer's name is stitched right into the crotch. Oh, don't See? show me the crotch. Hey, everyone, it's time to wake up L.A. Okay, so here are the boots huh? and the tiara yeah. and the magic lasso. Okay. Where are the gold bracelets? And now for our newest feature, the Inquisitor Gossip Minute. Here's correspondent Nora Wilde. Over to you, Nora. Thank you, Jim. So, what's the inside scoop this week in Hollywood? Well, it all starts in a private phone call to Beverly Hills Hotel. 